All right, guys, we're back over here at Inficon, and uh, everybody's favorite tool, the leak detectors that you guys have produced. Yeah. Amazing precision, super helpful. So take it away again, Mark. Tell us what you got. Yeah, so from a, a leak detector standpoint, we really have multiple leak detectors for all different applications, different gases. I'll start over here on the right. We've got our gas made as a combustible gas leak detector. The nice thing about this is certified intrinsically safe via MET Labs. Okay. Um, so all the electronics here are, um, are sealed and contained, not going to create a spark. We have an ultrasonic leak detector, so obviously it's not gas specific, but it's going to detect anything that's under pressure or vacuum, any gas that's yeah. under pressure or vacuum, and you're going to hear those sound waves that a, a leaking gas would, would make. Wait, so you put the headphones on? Yeah. So oh, okay. you would put the headphones on and, and you actually can chasing, hear the... Chasing the sound. Exactly. Okay, that's yep. sci-fi stuff. Exactly. <laughs> yep. And then these three here, these are our refrigerant leak detectors and we really have a good, better, best selection. Our TechMate that we've been selling for a really long time uses yeah. a heated diode sensor powered by... That's uh, been my diesel. best friend for years. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people's best friends for sure. Yep. And then when we move into the here, we have our infrared leak detectors and we have our DTEC-3 and the big brother, which is DTEC Stratus. And the nice thing about the DTEC Stratus is it's not just identifying that refrigerants in your background, but it's quantifying, mm -hmm. quantifying how much refrigerant is in your background with parts per million. Yeah. And the nice thing about this is, you know, with the parts per million, I always say it's, this is now your navigation. Because if you are leak checking in a large area, you're now just looking at a number. And you're watching the number higher the number closer you are to your leak source. So it's going to dramatically decrease the amount of time that someone is leak checking. Walk, you walk around the building, hotter, colder, hotter, colder. I mean, exactly. Yeah. Yep, yeah, exactly. So yeah. we always love doing this demonstration. And we like to always say, OK, picture this as like your mechanical room, right? If you're in market refrigeration, you're going to be leak checking there. Okay. So as you walk into that mechanical room, you immediately start detecting refrigerant, yeah. right? And then obviously as you get closer, that number is going to increase. Okay, yeah. But what I really want you to see is as we move away, how quick it is to respond to tell me as the technician that I'm going away from my leak. Oh, wow. Right? So yeah, I got to so go. We have like right here, we have different compartments and then our leak in the third compartment. And so as he steps. Right. That's right. I mean, that's so quick. So now as I'm getting closer to my leak, I'm right on top of it. I should get my highest reading. And that's going to tell me as the, as the technician that I am right on top of my leak. Wow. I should be seeing signs of, of a leak. Wow. That is fast. It's very fast, very efficient. The other nice thing about our leak detector is we also have different modes. This is what we call pinpoint mode or auto zero mode. So this is going to be used when you are leak checking, let's say on a coil or even on a, a braze. It's not working. It's a, there we go. So as you, as you go across that leak, it, you're going to start seeing and you can pinpoint right down to where it is. Which is the more traditional like a... Exactly. Yeah. Yep. And the nice thing about it is it does auto zero. So if you do in, go into that same room, if I leave it here, it's going to zero to that background, it. and it's not going to go off on anything less, only on something more. Got it. Okay. Okay. If you walk into a tight area where there is a heavy condensed leak, auto zero, let you get closer and closer and closer. Correct. Yep. And so you would you would walk in, you would leave it right there. Yeah. Nothing less, only something more. Yeah. And then we have what we call manual zero, which kind of says exactly what it is. I walk into that same room. You start detecting that, it's going to stay there until I say zero. Okay. That's your new base point. That's my new base point. Okay. Nothing less. I like that. Only something more. The manual yep. zero. I like that. Yep. Nice. And then the other nice thing about these, uh, the series of leak detectors is the ability to interchange the sensors based on the gas. Okay. Okay. So we have three different sensors to choose from. The metallic one is your traditional refrigerant leak detect or leak uh, sensor, right? Your infrared sensor. So HFCs, HCFCs, the new HFOs, A2Ls, these are A2L approved, by the way. So you're good there. But if I was in market refrigeration and you know you needed a CO2 leak detector, all you're doing now is you're just interchanging the sensor, just taking the sensor out. 
added in my CO2 leak detector, CO2 wow. sensor, and wow. you're good to go. Okay. Right. Uh, yeah. Now I have a CO2 leak detector. Yeah. And you do the same thing here. So I have a, a red one here for your flammables, mm -hmm. R290, R600. Gotcha. So one leak detector for all gas, all applications. Awesome. Wow. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, thanks for displaying that. I'm sure yeah. you get a lot of traffic over here. I do. This is a yes. popular tool. So, but yep. I certainly hopefully do. Hopefully you guys got a little piece of the action that you're missing not being here. And uh, next time, get in line a little quicker and you can actually get to talk to Mark yep. and see the tool yourself. So, right on. Right on. Thanks for watching. If you're willing, give this video a thumbs up and drop us a comment. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to stay updated with all of our future videos. And as a quick reminder, HVAC School isn't just a YouTube channel. Dive deeper with us at our main website, HVACRschool.com. Curious for more knowledge on the go? We've got you covered. Tune into the HVAC School podcast available on all your favorite podcast apps. And while you're at it, join our thriving Facebook group. Also, don't miss out on our free mobile applications available for both iPhone and Android. We're all about community. Vortex by Tex.